Sonic Central 2023 just happened this morning. So this is my discussion of it. I'm Ockland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button. Also, share with your friends if you don't mind. Also, please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below, and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. If you want to become a fan of me, Auckland, that subscribe to the channel, and you will become a fan. I hope so. Sonic Central, if you don't already know what it is, it's basically a direct a presentation show showcasing Sonic-themed stuff when it comes to games and merchandise and other stuff like that. I believe this is the third time they've done it, uh, and I think I've done it all three times now. Uh, so, thanks to everybody watching Sonic Central, they will be able to continue to do this. So, highly recommend checking it out. So, today, June 23rd, marks Sonic's 30th an an anniversary, birthday, all that stuff today. And plus, if you don't already know, speaking of the first thing that was talked about today, Sonic's Origins Plus is now out, both digitally and physically. And if you already um, own Sonic Origins digitally, all you gotta do is just upgrade it to $10 if you want to, which adds 12 Game Gear games to the collection. So now you got a grand total of 16 games in one collection. But if you get the physical copy, you get an art book a reversible cover art, and uh, all that stuff. Plus, you can get the physical game on whatever platform that you want it on. PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, and that. Not S, but, you know, for the physical copy, but, and also Xbox One, and PS4, and all that stuff, and also Switch. <clears throat> hopefully, you can look forward to an unboxing video of it, hopefully. Let's, uh, all right, next... Sonic Frontiers Birthday Bash update, and it's free. So if you own a copy of Sonic Frontiers in any kind of form, physically, digitally, sometime today you can update the game, and you'll get all this uh, stuff for free. So you get a birthday uh, hat and sunglasses added to Sonic, so he'd be wearing them within the game as a cosmetic and plus, there's new challenges in the game as well. New moves, new collectible uh, cocoa. Um, it's a, uh, I think it's a character in the game that you can collect. Plus, New Game Plus is now also going to be available as well. Which means after you beat the game, you can go back through and beat the game again. With extra stuff added to the game, I think. I'm not sure exactly what game New Game Plus is. But I'm thinking that's what it is. Alright, next, uh, Roblox. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Um, I know I mentioned it before in a Sonic Central. But a Sonic Speed Bass... S Sonic Speed Simulator. It's a game, um, I guess, whatever on what Roblox is. You're going to be able to unlock a, a tuxedo and hat cosmetic uh, costume for Sonic in Sonic Speed Simulator. Next, more episodes of Sonic Prime are coming to Netflix on July 13th. It's a new animated uh, show, and I would love to watch it someday, hopefully. I'm hoping since most of the original Sonic shows, even the updated ones, have all became available either on DVD and Blu-ray, I'm hoping that Sonic Prime will also have the same treatment as well. I hope so, because I would love to watch it. Alright, so that was really cool. Sonic Dash is now coming to mobile on Netflix. Because Netflix has been supporting video games now. So if you have a Netflix subscription, you can play video games on there. And Sonic Dash mobile is going to be available on there. And continuing with mobile stuff, uh, unlock Super Silver in Sonic Forces and Sonic Dash. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I haven't played any of the Sonic mobile games. I'm not a mobile person, to be honest. It's not for me. Uh, Apple Arcade, uh, you'll be able to, uh, have...
have Sonic Forces and Sonic Dash gets Dragon Hunter Lancelot. And he looks like Shadow dressed up in armor and he has a sword. Uh, so you're going to be able to play as that character in Apple Arcade for Sonic Forces and Sonic Dash. Next, uh, Classic Super Sonic will be joining the mobile games. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sambo, no, Sam, I don't know how to say this. Sam, <laughs> it's a rhythm based rhythm based game. It's us, uh, S A M B A, and then space D E space A M A M I G O. Um, 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 if you know what the game is, I've talked about it before in a previous video. Uh, it's a rhythm-based game uh, where you basically move your body in order to play the game. Uh, and Sonic is going to be joining in the game. In the game, this Sonic DLC, I guess, but pretty much what it is, you can be able to uh, pre-order it on MetaQuest. And also is coming to consoles as well. So if you want to have Sonic in that game. Next, uh, Sonic Sympathy is going to be coming back uh, live on September 16th. It's going to be in London and Paris and a lot of other places in the world throughout October. Uh, so if you want to go and see it live, you will be able to do that. And I know they had it on YouTube one time before, so I don't know if they're going to do that again or not. Alright, next, I had no idea about this, uh, of my knowledge, but Tails Tube. So, I, I don't know if it's a AI character of Tails or what, what's going on with this, but uh, Tails has a streaming channel on a YouTube channel. And, I, and apparently, he, he had... A season already and are bringing a new season out on the YouTube channel I, I guess it's tails tube I guess uh, it this is you know it's just like not necessarily a cartoon but it's not like a TV show is what I'm trying to say it's just like the character tails is on the screen and he's talking to you and Sonic shows up and he has situations with his computer and he's trying to fix it, and I'm not sure what else. It's like a, like a silly, uh, animated uh, show kind of sort of on YouTube. So it might be interesting. It looked like it might be pretty good. Of course, you're gonna have to have Sonic merchandise as well. So uh, T-shirts and toys and Sonic themed Crocs. You know the shoes, Crocs, uh, and are going to all be available and you can add uh, charms to your shoes and these Crocs are themed by Sonic shoes so they're red and white and the uh, charms are like a a ring and some other type uh, of stuff that you can add to the shoes if that's what you want to do and all this stuff will be available online on June 26th Alright, next, uh, Sonic and Shadow Gaming Stands, uh, it's like these, it's like these, uh, they're kind of like statues, but they're stands, uh, that you can display around anywhere, and they, you can actually hold your phone on them, and your controllers and stuff, and it's pretty cool, you probably know what I'm talking about if you've ever seen something like that before. Alright, next, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 themed statue. It's going to be available to pre-orders today. The statue looks pretty cool. Uh, next, uh, Sonic themed guitar is coming soon. Um, so if you are a guitar fan, if you're a Sonic fan, and you would love to have something like that, then you'll be able to very soon. Uh, Sonic Playmates Igloo Cooler. It's going to be available to buy. Uh, so if you're into coolers. And or you're just a Sonic fan in general. And you just want one. Then you'll be able to have your own Sonic themed cooler. 
by Igloo, which is a really good brand. All right, next, Sonic, uh, Amy, 30th Anniversary Comic is coming later this year, which is awesome that uh, Amy is going to be getting her own comic book. And uh, they kind of, like, talked about just a little bit. Uh, it's going to be about Amy rescuing her friends from the evil uh, Eggman himself and all that stuff. Uh, San Diego Comic Con uh, is going to have a Sonic-themed restaurant this year. So you're going to be able to order chili dogs and be like Sonic at the restaurant, uh, which is very cool. I'm, I imagine they got other food there besides just chili dogs, but uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Sonic and Ed Man themed Legos or play sets are going to be coming out this year. On August 1st, so if you uh, bought those Mario themed Lego sets they had they had came out with, this is going to be just like that or very similar to it, except it's Sonic now. That was really cool, and they had a little awesome skit of it was so funny of Eggman. Uh, it was basically his Lego character and the guy that voices. Eggman, I would imagine that's exactly who it was because he sounded like him. He was voicing Eggman as the Le Lego character and he was like taking over and he was attacking Sonic and he was actually rapping and uh, then he used mind control on this uh, guy behind the scenes and they shaved his head and they kind of made him look like Eggman. And it was really, really silly. And, of course, Eggman was saying, like, uh, hashtag uh, so support this uh, Sonic-themed uh, Lego set that looks like him. And so if he gets support for that, then he can get his Eggman-themed uh, Sonic Lego to be real. And it was just... It was great. It was really funny. I really enjoyed that skit. It was so good. Next, uh, Sonic Superstars coming out this fall. I was really hoping that we was going to get an actual release date for this game. But it's still saying fall is coming out to, you know, uh, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and Switch sometime this fall. And you're going to be able to get a Lego skin for Sonic Superstars, which you can pre-order at the Sonic Superstars website. Uh, so you're going to be able to play as Lego Sonic uh, going against Lego Eggman in the game itself, which was really, really cool. Because I showed off a, a trailer of the gameplay for it, and it looked great. Next, and the last things that they talked about it here, was, of course, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the movie, is going to be releasing late 2024, so it's still happening next year. That's good to hear that. And of course, if you did not already know, Knuckles is getting his own live-action TV show on Paramount+. Plus uh, This holiday season. Um, so if you have Paramount+, Plus, you're going to be able to watch a live-action Knuckles TV show on there. And he's supposed to be voiced by the same actor who played as him in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. And uh, this TV show is supposed to take place between the second movie and before the third movie, which actually makes sense. Uh, so that's going to be really, really good to watch that. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't, uh, I would definitely highly recommend checking out Sonic Central. 2023 it was really good um but the only thing i wanted w from this was that official release date for sonic superstars which did not happen but hopefully soon soon enough in the coming months we'll get an official release date and so we'll know exactly when it's coming out this year if you're excited for sonic superstars and excited for anything that was announced here or did you even watch it yourself or planning to? I would love to know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was really good. Um, it could have been better, but it was still good. 
Alright, thank you so much. Alright, bye.